In mathematics, more specifically in functional analysis, a Banach space pronounced Banach's is a complete normed vector space. Thus, a Banach space is a vector space with a metric that allows the computation of vector length and distance between vectors and is complete in the sense that a Cauchy sequence of vectors always converges to a well-defined limit that is within the space. Banach spaces are named after the Polish mathematician Stefan Banach, who introduced this concept and studied it systematically in 1920–1922 along with Hans Hahn and Eduard Helle. Banach spaces originally grew out of the study of function spaces by Hilbert, Fréchet, and Rees earlier in the century. Banach spaces play a central role in functional analysis. In other areas of analysis, the spaces under study are often Banach spaces. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Definition. A Banach space is a vector space X over the field R of real numbers, or over the field C of complex numbers, which is equipped with a norm X. Display style c d o t underscore x, and which is complete with respect to that norm. That is to say, for every Cauchy sequence x n in X, there exists an element x in X such that lim n infinity x n equals x. Display style lim underscore n to n a t x underscore n equals x, or equivalently, lim n infinity x n minus x x equals zero. Display style lim underscore n to n a t left x underscore n x right underscore x equals zero. The vector space structure allows one to relate the behavior of Cauchy sequences to that of converging series of vectors. A normed space X is a Banach space if and only if each absolutely convergent series in X converges. N equals 1 infinity V N X infinity implies that N equals 1 infinity V N converges in X. Display style sum underscore N equals 1 caret N A T V underscore N underscore X completeness of a normed space is preserved if the given norm is replaced by an equivalent one. All norms on a finite dimensional vector space are equivalent. Every finite dimensional normed space over R or C is a Banach space. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> General theory. Topic: <laughs> 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 Linear operators, isomorphisms. If X and Y are normed spaces over the same ground field K, the set of all continuous K linear maps T, X Y is denoted by B X Y. In infinite dimensional spaces, not all linear maps are continuous. A linear mapping from a normed space X to another normed space is continuous if and only if it is bounded on the closed unit ball of X. Thus, the vector space B X Y can be given the operator norm T equals sup T X Y X element of X x x 1 display style t equals sup left t x underscore y mid x in x x underscore x l e q 1 right for y a banach space the space b x y is a banach space with respect to this norm 
If x is a Banach space, the space B x equals B x x forms a unital Banach algebra. The multiplication operation is given by the composition of linear maps. If x and y are normed spaces, they are isomorphic normed spaces if there exists a linear bijection T, x y such that T and its inverse T minus 1 are continuous. If one of the two spaces x or y is complete or reflexive, separable, etc., then so is the other space. Two normed spaces x and y are isometrically isomorphic if in addition, T is an isometry, i.e. T x equals x for every x in x the Banach Mazur distance d x y between two isomorphic but not isometric spaces x and y gives a measure of how much the two spaces x and y differ. Equals. Topic: Basic notions. Equals. Every normed space X can be isometrically embedded in a Banach space. More precisely, for every normed space X, there exist a Banach space Y and a mapping T, X Y such that T is an isometric mapping and T X is dense in Y if Z is another Banach space such that there is an isometric isomorphism from X onto a dense subset of Z, then Z is isometrically isomorphic to Y. This Banach space Y is the completion of the normed space X. The underlying metric space for Y is the same as the metric completion of X, with the vector space operations extended from X to Y. The completion of X is often denoted by X caret display style wide hat X. The Cartesian product x times y of two normed spaces is not canonically equipped with a norm. However, several equivalent norms are commonly used, such as x y 1 equals x plus y x y infinity equals max x y display style x y underscore 1 equals x plus y q quad x y underscore in a t equals max x y and give rise to isomorphic normed spaces in this sense, the product x times y or the direct sum x y is complete if and only if the two factors are complete. If M is a closed linear subspace of a normed space x, there is a natural norm on the quotient space x m x plus m equals i n f m element of M x plus M display style x plus M equals I N F limits underscore M in M x plus M. The quotient x M is a Banach space when x is complete. The quotient map from x onto x M, sending x in x to its class x plus M, is linear, onto and has norm 1, except when M equals x, in which case the quotient is the null space. The closed linear subspace M of x is said to be a complemented subspace of x if M is the range of a bounded linear projection P from x onto M. In this case, the space x is isomorphic to the direct sum of M and Kerr P, the kernel of the projection P. Suppose that x and y are Banach spaces and that T element of B x, y. There exists a canonical factorization of T as T equals T one Pi T x Pi x Kerr T T one Y 
Display style t equals t underscore one circ pi t x overset pi long right arrow x operator name cur t overset t underscore one long right arrow y, where the first map pi is the quotient map, and the second map t one sends every class x plus cur t in the quotient to the image t x in y. This is well defined because all elements in the same class have the same image. The mapping T1 is a linear bijection from x cur t onto the range T x, whose inverse need not be bounded. Topic: <laughs> Classical spaces. Basic examples of Banach spaces include, the LP spaces and their special cases, the sequence spaces P that consist of scalar sequences indexed by N, among them, the space 1 of absolutely summable sequences and the space 2 of square summable sequences, the space C0 of sequences tending to 0 and the space infinity of bounded sequences, the space C K of continuous scalar functions on a compact Hausdorff space K, equipped with the max norm F C K equals max F X X element of K F element of C K Display style f underscore c k equals max f x x in k quad f in c k. According to the Banach-Mazur theorem, every Banach space is isometrically isomorphic to a subspace of some c k. For every separable Banach space X, there is a closed subspace M of 1 such that X1 M. Any Hilbert space serves as an example of a Banach space. A Hilbert space H on K equals R, C is complete for a norm of the form X H equals X X Display style X underscore H equals SQRT Langle X, X Wrangle where H times H K Display style Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle H times H two Math BF K is the inner product, linear in its first argument that satisfies the following X Y element of H Y X equals X Y X element of H X X zero X X equals zero X equals zero Display style begin aligned for all x y in H quad Langle y x wrangle and equals overline Langle x y wrangle for all x in H quad Langle x x wrangle and G E Q zero Langle x x wrangle equals zero left right arrow x and equals zero end aligned for example the space L two is a Hilbert space. The Hardy spaces, the Sobolev spaces are examples of Banach spaces that are related to LP spaces and have additional structure. They are important in different branches of analysis, harmonic analysis and partial differential equations among others. <laughs> Banach algebras A Banach algebra is a Banach space A over K equals R or C, together with a structure of algebra over K, such that the product map A times A, A B ab element of A is continuous. An equivalent norm on A can be found so that ab A B for all A B element of A. 
equals topic examples equals the banach space c k with the pointwise product is a banach algebra the disk algebra a d consists of functions holomorphic in the open unit disk d c and continuous on its closure d equipped with the max norm on d the disk algebra a d is a closed subalgebra of c d the Wiener algebra A T is the algebra of functions on the unit circle T with absolutely convergent Fourier series. Via the map associating a function on T to the sequence of its Fourier coefficients, this algebra is isomorphic to the Banach algebra 1 Z, where the product is the convolution of sequences. For every Banach space X, the space B X of bounded linear operators on X, with the composition of maps as product, is a Banach algebra. AC asterisk algebra is a complex Banach algebra A with an antilinear involution A as such that A equals A 2. The space B H of bounded linear operators on a Hilbert space H is a fundamental example of C** algebra. The gelfand nymark theorem states that every C** algebra is isometrically isomorphic to a C** subalgebra of some B H. The space C K of complex continuous functions on a compact Hausdorff space K is an example of commutative C** algebra, where the involution associates to every function f its complex conjugate f. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Dual space. Equals. <laughs> If X is a normed space and K the underlying field either the real or the complex numbers, the continuous dual space is the space of continuous linear maps from X into K, or continuous linear functionals. The notation for the continuous dual is X equals B X K in this article. Since K is a Banach space using the absolute value as norm, the dual X is a Banach space, for every normed space X. The main tool for proving the existence of continuous linear functionals is the Hahn-Banach theorem. Hahn-Banach theorem. Let X be a vector space over the field K equals R, C let further Y X be a linear subspace P, X R be a sublinear function and F, Y K be a linear functional so that re F, Y, P, Y for all Y in Y. Then, there exists a linear functional F, X K so that F, Y equals F and X element of X Re F X P X display style F underscore Y equals F quad text and quad for all X in X operator name re F X L E Q P X in particular, every continuous linear functional on a subspace of a normed space can be continuously extended to the whole space, without increasing the norm of the functional. An important special case is the following, for every vector x in a normed space x, there exists a continuous linear functional f on x such that f x equals x X F X one Display style F x equals x underscore x quad F underscore x LEQ one When x is not equal to the zero vector, the functional F must have norm one, and is called a norming functional for x. The Hahn Banach separation theorem states that two disjoint non empty convex sets in a real Banach space, one of them open, can be separated by a closed affine hyperplane. 
The open convex set lies strictly on one side of the hyperplane, the second convex set lies on the other side but may touch the hyperplane. A subset S in a Banach space X is total if the linear span of S is dense in X. The subset S is total in X if and only if the only continuous linear functional that vanishes on S is the zero functional. This equivalence follows from the Hahn Banach theorem. If X is the direct sum of two closed linear subspaces M and N, then the dual X of X is isomorphic to the direct sum of the duals of M and N. If M is a closed linear subspace in X, one can associate the orthogonal of M in the dual M equals X element of X X M equals 0 m element of m display style m caret perp equals left x in x x m equals 0 for all m in m right the orthogonal m is a closed linear subspace of the dual the dual of m is isometrically isomorphic to x m the dual of X, M is isometrically isomorphic to M. The dual of a separable Banach space need not be separable, but Theorem. Let X be a normed space. If X is separable, then X is separable. When X is separable, the above criterion for totality can be used for proving the existence of a countable total subset in X. Topic. Weak topologies The weak topology on a Banach space X is the coarsest topology on X for which all elements X in the continuous dual space X are continuous. The norm topology is therefore finer than the weak topology. It follows from the Hahn Banach separation theorem that the weak topology is Hausdorff, and that a norm closed convex subset of a Banach space is also weakly closed. A norm continuous linear map between two Banach spaces X and Y is also weakly continuous, i.e., continuous from the weak topology of X to that of Y. If X is infinite dimensional, there exist linear maps which are not continuous. The space X of all linear maps from X to the underlying field K this space X is called the algebraic dual space, to distinguish it from X also induces a topology on X which is finer than the weak topology, and much less used in functional analysis. On a dual space X, there is a topology weaker than the weak topology of X, called weak asterisk topology. It is the coarsest topology on X for which all evaluation maps X element of X X X X element of X are continuous. Its importance comes from the banach alaoglu theorem. banach alaoglu theorem. Let X be a normed vector space. Then the closed unit ball B equals X element of X X 1 of the dual space is compact in the weak asterisk topology the banach alaoglu theorem depends on Tychonoff's theorem about infinite products of compact spaces when X is separable the unit ball B of the dual is a metrizable compact in the weak asterisk topology equals topic Examples of dual spaces Topic The dual of C0 is isometrically isomorphic to 1. For every bounded linear functional f on C0, there is a unique element y yn element of 1 such that f x equals n element of n x n y n, x equals x n element of C0, and f C0 equals y1. Display style f x equals sum underscore n in math bf n x underscore n 
n y underscore n q quad x equals x underscore n in c underscore zero text and f underscore c underscore zero equals y underscore l underscore one. The dual of one is isometrically isomorphic to infinity. The dual of LP 0, 1, is isometrically isomorphic to LQ 0, 1, when 1 P for every vector y in a Hilbert space H, the mapping x element of H F y x equals x, y display style x in H to F underscore y x equals Langle x, y wrangle defines a continuous linear functional F y on H. The Riesz representation theorem states that every continuous Linear functional on H is of the form f y for a uniquely defined vector y in H. The mapping y element of H f y is an antilinear isometric bijection from H onto its dual H. When the scalars are real, this map is an isometric isomorphism. When K is a compact Hausdorff topological space, the dual M K of C K is the space of radon measures in the sense of Bourbaki. The subset P K of M K consisting of non-negative measures of mass 1 probability measures is a convex W** closed subset of the unit ball of M K. The extreme points of P K are the Dirac measures on K. The set of Dirac measures on K, equipped with the W** topology, is homeomorphic to K Banach Stone theorem. If K and L are compact Hausdorff spaces and if C K and C L are isometrically isomorphic, then the topological spaces K and L are homeomorphic. The result has been extended by Amir and Camberne to the case when the multiplicative Banach Mazur distance between C K and C L is I x equals Kerr delta x equals F element of C K F x equals zero x element of K Display style i underscore x equals cur delta underscore x equals f in c k f x equals zero quad x in k. More generally, by the gelfand mazur theorem, the maximal ideals of a unital commutative Banach algebra can be identified with its characters, not merely as sets but as topological spaces. The former with the Hull kernel topology and the latter with the W asterisk topology. In this identification, the maximal ideal space can be viewed as a W** compact subset of the unit ball in the dual A. Theorem. If K is a compact Hausdorff space, then the maximal ideal space Xi of the Banach algebra C K is homeomorphic to K. Not every unital commutative Banach algebra is of the form C K for some compact Hausdorff space K. However, this statement holds if one places C K in the smaller category of commutative C algebras. Gelfand's representation theorem for commutative C** algebras states that every commutative unital C** algebra A is isometrically isomorphic to AC K space. The Hausdorff compact space K here is again the maximal ideal space, also called the spectrum of A in the C** algebra context. Topic bidual If x is a normed space, the continuous dual x of the dual x is called bidual, or second dual of x for every normed space x. There is a natural map, fx, xx, fx, x, f equals fx, x element of x, f element of x. Display style begin cases f underscore x, x to x, f underscore x, x, f equals fx, and for all x in x, for all f in x end cases this defines fx x as a continuous linear functional on x ie an element of x the map fx x fx x is a linear map from x to x as a consequence of the existence of a norming functional f for every x in x this map fx is isometric thus injective for example, the dual of x equals c0 is identified with 1, and the dual of 1 is identified with infinity, the space of bounded scalar sequences. 
Under these identifications, Fx is the inclusion map from C0 to infinity. It is indeed isometric, but not onto. If Fx is surjective, then the normed space X is called reflexive see below. Being the dual of a normed space, the bidual X is complete, therefore, every reflexive normed space is a Banach space. Using the isometric embedding Fx, it is customary to consider a normed space X as a subset of its bidual. When X is a Banach space, it is viewed as a closed linear subspace of X. If X is not reflexive, the unit ball of X is a proper subset of the unit ball of X. The Goldstein theorem states that the unit ball of a normed space is weakly asterisk dense in the unit ball of the bidual. In other words, for every x in the bidual, there exists a net xj in x so that sup j x j x x f equals lim j f x j f element of x display style sup underscore j x underscore j l e q x x f equals lim underscore j f x underscore j quad f in x the net may be replaced by a weakly asterisk convergent sequence when the dual x is separable on the other hand, elements of the bidual of one that are not in one cannot be weak asterisk limit of sequences in one, since one is weakly sequentially complete. Topic Banach's theorems Here are the main general results about Banach spaces that go back to the time of Banach's book Banach, 1932, and are related to the Baire category theorem. According to this theorem, a complete metric space such as a Banach space, a Frechet space or an F space cannot be equal to a union of countably many closed subsets with empty interiors. Therefore, a Banach space cannot be the union of countably many closed subspaces, unless it is already equal to one of them. A Banach space with a countable Hamel basis is finite dimensional. Banach Steinhaus theorem let X be a Banach space and Y be a normed vector space. Suppose that F is a collection of continuous linear operators from X to Y. The uniform boundedness principle states that if for all X in X we have sup element of F T X Y sup T element of F sup X element of U T X Y infinity display style sup underscore T in F sup underscore X in U T X underscore Y the open mapping theorem. Let X and Y be Banach spaces and T, X, Y be a surjective continuous linear operator, then T is an open map, corollary. Every one-to-one -one bounded linear operator from a Banach space onto a Banach space is an isomorphism, the first isomorphism theorem for Banach spaces. Suppose that X and Y are Banach spaces and that T element of B X, Y. Suppose further that the range of T is closed in Y then X cur T is isomorphic to T X. This result is a direct consequence of the preceding Banach isomorphism theorem and of the canonical factorization of bounded linear maps. Corollary if a Banach space X is the internal direct sum of closed subspaces M1, Minnesota, then X is isomorphic to M1, Minnesota. This is another consequence of Banach's isomorphism theorem, applied to the continuous bijection from M1, Minnesota onto X sending M1, Minnesota to the sum M1 plus, plus Minnesota. The closed graph theorem. Let T, X, Y be a linear mapping between Banach spaces. The graph of T is closed in X times Y if and only if T is continuous. 
Topic reflexivity The normed space X is called reflexive when the natural map Fx, Xx, Fx, X, F equals Fx, X element of X, F element of X display style begin cases F underscore X, X to X, F underscore X, X, F equals F, X and for all X in X, for all F in X end cases is surjective. Reflexive normed spaces are Banach spaces. Theorem. If X is a reflexive Banach space, every closed subspace of X and every quotient space of X are reflexive, this is a consequence of the Hahn Banach theorem. Further, by the open mapping theorem, if there is a bounded linear operator from the Banach space X onto the Banach space Y, then Y is reflexive. Theorem. If X is a Banach space, then X is reflexive if and only if X is reflexive, corollary. Let X be a reflexive Banach space. Then X is separable if and only if X is separable, indeed, if the dual Y of a Banach space Y is separable, then Y is separable. If X is reflexive and separable, then the dual of X is separable, so X is separable. Theorem. Suppose that x1, xn are normed spaces and that x equals x1, xn. Then x is reflexive if and only if each xj is reflexive, Hilbert spaces are reflexive. The LP spaces are reflexive when 1 much larger than x namely, under the natural isometric embedding of x into x given by the hahn banach theorem, the quotient x, x is infinite dimensional, and even nonseparable. However, Robert C. James has constructed an example of a non-reflexive space, usually called the James space, and denoted by J, such that the quotient J, J is one-dimensional. Furthermore, this space J is isometrically isomorphic to its bidual. Theorem a Banach space X is reflexive if and only if its unit ball is compact in the weak topology. When X is reflexive, it follows that all closed and bounded convex subsets of X are weakly compact. In a Hilbert space H, the weak compactness of the unit ball is very often used in the following way every bounded sequence in H has weakly convergent subsequences. Weak compactness of the unit ball provides a tool for finding solutions in reflexive spaces to certain optimization problems. For example, every convex continuous function on the unit ball B of a reflexive space attains its minimum at some point in B. As a special case of the preceding result, when X is a reflexive space over R, every continuous linear functional F in X attains its maximum, F, on the unit ball of X. The following theorem of Robert C. James provides a converse statement. James's theorem. For a Banach space the following two properties are equivalent. X is reflexive. For all f in X there exists X in X with, X, 1, so that f X equals, f, the theorem can be extended to give a characterization of weakly compact convex sets. On every non-reflexive Banach space X, there exist continuous linear functionals that are not norm-attaining. However, the Bishop-Phelps theorem states that norm-attaining functionals are norm-dense in the dual X of X. Topic weak convergences of sequences A sequence Xn in a Banach space X is weakly convergent to a vector X element of X if f Xn converges to f X for every continuous linear functional f in the dual X. The sequence Xn is a weakly Cauchy sequence if f Xn converges to a scalar limit L f for every f in X. A sequence Fn in the dual X is weakly asterisk convergent to a functional F element of X if Fn X converges to F X for every X in X weakly Cauchy sequences. Weakly convergent and weakly asterisk convergent sequences are norm bounded, as a consequence of the Banach Steinhaus theorem. 
When the sequence x n in X is a weakly Cauchy sequence, the limit L above defines a bounded linear functional on the dual X, i.e., an element L of the bidual of X, and L is the limit of x n in the weak asterisk topology of the bidual. The Banach space X is weakly sequentially complete if every weakly Cauchy sequence is weakly convergent in X. It follows from the preceding discussion that reflexive spaces are weakly sequentially complete. Theorem. For every measure μ, the space L1 mu is weakly sequentially complete. An orthonormal sequence in a Hilbert space is a simple example of a weakly convergent sequence, with limit equal to the zero vector. The unit vector basis of P, 1. Topic. Results involving the 1 basis Weakly Cauchy sequences and the 1 basis are the opposite cases of the dichotomy established in the following deep result of H. P. Rosenthal. Theorem. Let X n be a bounded sequence in a Banach space. Either X n has a weakly Cauchy subsequence, or it admits a subsequence equivalent to the standard unit vector basis of 1. A complement to this result is due to Odell and Rosenthal. 1975. Theorem. Let X be a separable Banach space. The following are equivalent. The space X does not contain a closed subspace isomorphic to 1. Every element of the bidual X is the weak asterisk limit of a sequence X n in X by the Goldstein theorem. Every element of the unit ball B of X is weak asterisk limit of a net in the unit ball of X when X does not contain one. Every element of B is weak asterisk limit of a sequence in the unit ball of X when the Banach space X is separable. The unit ball of the dual X, equipped with the weak asterisk topology, is a mature Trizable compact space K, and every element x in the bidual x defines a bounded function on K. X element of K x x x x x display style x in K mapsto x x quad left x x right leq left x right this function is continuous for the compact topology of K if and only if X is actually in X, considered as subset of X. Assume in addition for the rest of the paragraph that X does not contain 1. By the preceding result of Odell and Rosenthal, the function X is the pointwise limit on K of a sequence X n X of continuous functions on K, it is therefore a first bare class function on K. The unit ball of the bidual is a pointwise compact subset of the first bare class on K. Sequences, weak and weak asterisk compactness When X is separable, the unit ball of the dual is weak asterisk compact by Banach Alaulu and matrizable for the weak asterisk topology, hence every bounded sequence in the dual has weakly asterisk convergent subsequences. This applies to separable reflexive spaces, but more is true in this case, as stated below. The weak topology of a Banach space X is matrizable if and only if X is finite dimensional. If the dual X is separable, the weak topology of the unit ball of X is matrizable. This applies in particular to separable reflexive Banach spaces. Although the weak topology of the unit ball is not matrizable in general, one can characterize weak compactness using sequences. Eberlein Smulian theorem. A set A in a Banach space is relatively weakly compact if and only if every sequence and in A has a weakly convergent subsequence. A Banach space X is reflexive if and only if each bounded sequence in X has a weakly convergent subsequence. A weakly compact subset A in 1 is norm compact. 
Indeed, every sequence in A has weakly convergent subsequences by Eberlein Smulian, that are norm convergent by the sure property of 1. Topic Schauder bases A Schauder basis in a Banach space X as a sequence n, n0 of vectors in X with the property that for every vector X in X, there exist uniquely defined scalars Xn, n0 depending on X, such that X equals n equals 0 infinity X n e n, i.e., X equals lim n p n X p n X equals k equals 0 n X k e k display style x equals sum underscore n equals 0 caret n f t x underscore n e underscore n quad text it i e quad x equals lim underscore n p underscore n x p underscore n x equals sum underscore k equals 0 caret n x underscore k e underscore k banach spaces with a shouter basis are necessarily separable because the countable set of finite linear combinations with rational coefficients say, is dense. It follows from the Banach–Steinhaus theorem that the linear mappings Pn are uniformly bounded by some constant c let e n denote the coordinate functionals which assign to every x in x the coordinate xn of x in the above expansion. They are called biorthogonal functionals. When the basis vectors have norm 1, the coordinate functionals e n have norm 2 c in the dual of x most classical separable spaces have explicit basis. The Haar system H n is a basis for L p 0, 1, 1 p. James characterized reflexivity in Banach spaces with a basis, the space X with a Schauder basis is reflexive if and only if the basis is both shrinking and boundedly complete. In this case, the biorthogonal functionals form a basis of the dual of X. <laughs> Tensor product Let x and y be two k vector spaces. The tensor product x y of x and y is a k vector space z with a bilinear mapping t x times y z, which has the following universal property: if t one x times y z one is any bilinear mapping into a k vector space z one, then there exists a unique linear mapping f z z one such that t one equals f t. The image under t of a couple x y in x times y is denoted by x y and called a simple tensor. Every element z in x y is a finite sum of such simple tensors. There are various norms that can be placed on the tensor product of the underlying vector spaces, amongst others the projective cross norm and injective cross norm introduced by A. Grothendieck in 1955. In general, the tensor product of complete spaces is not complete again. When working with Banach spaces, it is customary to say that the projective tensor product of two Banach spaces X and Y is the completion. X carrot pi y display style x wide hat o times underscore pi y of the algebraic tensor product x y equipped with the projective tensor norm, and similarly for the injective tensor product x carrot epsilon y. Display style x wide hat o times underscore var epsilon y. Grothendieck proved in particular that c k caret epsilon y c k y l one zero one caret pi y l one zero one y. Display style begin aligned c k wide hat o times underscore var epsilon y end simic c k y l caret one zero one wide hat o times underscore pi y end simic l caret one zero 
0, 1, y, end aligned where k is a compact Hausdorff space, c k, y the Banach space of continuous functions from k to y and L1 0, 1, y the space of Bachner measurable and integrable functions from 0, 1 to y, and where the isomorphisms are isometric. The two isomorphisms above are the respective extensions of the map sending the tensor Fy to the vector valued function S element of K F S Y element of Y. Topic: <tensor>, tensor products and the approximation property. Let X be a Banach space. The tensor product X Carrot Epsilon X Display style x wide hat O times underscore var epsilon x is identified isometrically with the closure in B x of the set of finite rank operators. When X has the approximation property, this closure coincides with the space of compact operators on X. For every Banach space Y, there is a natural norm one linear map Y carrot pi x Y carrot epsilon x display style Y wide hat O times underscore pi x to Y wide hat O times underscore var epsilon x obtained by extending the identity map of the algebraic tensor product. Grothendieck related the approximation problem to the question of whether this map is one-to-one -one when y is the dual of x precisely, for every Banach space x, the map x caret pi x x caret epsilon x Display style x wide hat o times underscore pi x long right arrow x wide hat o times underscore var epsilon x is one to one if and only if x has the approximation property. Grothendieck conjectured that x caret pi y Display style x wide hat o times underscore pi y and x caret epsilon y display style x wide hat o times underscore var epsilon y must be different whenever x and y are infinite dimensional Banach spaces. This was disproved by Giles Pizier in 1983. Pizier constructed an infinite dimensional Banach space X such that X caret pi X display style X wide hat O times underscore pi X and X caret epsilon X Display style x wide hat o times underscore var epsilon x are equal. Furthermore, just as in Flo's example, this space x is a handmade space that fails to have the approximation property. On the other hand, Shinkovsky proved that the classical space B two does not have the approximation property. Topic. Some classification results Topic. Characterizations of Hilbert space among Banach spaces A necessary and sufficient condition for the norm of a Banach space X to be associated to an inner product is the parallelogram identity X Y element of X X plus Y two plus X minus 
y two equals two x two plus y two Display style for all x, y in x q quad, x plus y, carrot two plus x y, carrot two equals two left x, carrot two plus y, carrot two right. It follows, for example, that the Lebesgue space Lp zero one is a Hilbert space only when P equals two. If this identity is satisfied, the associated inner product is given by the polarization identity. In the case of real scalars, this gives x y equals 1 4 x plus y 2 minus x Minus y two display style Langle x y wrangle equals t f r a c one four left x plus y caret two x y caret two right. For complex scalars, defining the inner product so as to be c-linear in x, antilinear in y, the polarization identity gives x y equals one four x plus y two minus x minus y two plus i x plus i y two minus x minus i y two. Display style Langle x y wrangle equals t f r a c one four left x plus y caret two x Y carrot two plus I left x plus I Y carrot two x I Y carrot two right right to see that the parallelogram law is sufficient. One observes in the real case that is symmetric, and in the complex case that it satisfies the Hermitian symmetry property and equals I. The parallelogram law implies that is additive in X. It follows that it is linear over the rationals, thus linear by continuity. Several characterizations of spaces isomorphic rather than isometric to Hilbert spaces are available. The parallelogram law can be extended to more than two vectors, and weakened by the introduction of a two-sided inequality with a constant c1. Quapin proved that if c minus two k equals one n x k 2 avenue plus or minus k equals 1 n plus or minus x k 2 c 2 k equals 1 n x k 2 display style c caret minus 2 sum underscore k equals 1 caret n left x underscore k right caret 2 leq operator name avenue underscore pm left sum underscore k equals 1 caret n pm x underscore k right caret 2 leq c caret 2 sum underscore k equals 1 caret n left x underscore k right caret 2 for every integer n and all families of vectors x1 xn x then the banach space x is isomorphic to a hilbert space here avenue plus or minus denotes the average over the 2n possible choices of signs plus or minus 1 in the same article, Quapin proved that the validity of a Banach valued Parseval's theorem for the Fourier transform characterizes Banach spaces isomorphic to Hilbert spaces. Linden Strauss and Tafriri proved that a Banach space in which every closed linear subspace is complemented, that is, is the range of a bounded linear projection, is isomorphic to a Hilbert space. 
The proof rests upon Dvoretsky's theorem about Euclidean sections of high-dimensional centrally symmetric convex bodies. In other words, Dvoretsky's theorem states that for every integer n, any finite dimensional normed space, with dimension sufficiently large compared to n, contains subspaces nearly isometric to the n dimensional Euclidean space. The next result gives the solution of the so called homogeneous space problem. An infinite dimensional Banach space X is said to be homogeneous if it is isomorphic to all its infinite dimensional closed subspaces. A Banach space isomorphic to 2 is homogeneous, and Banach asked for the converse. Theorem. A Banach space isomorphic to all its infinite dimensional closed subspaces is isomorphic to a separable Hilbert space. An infinite dimensional Banach space is hereditarily indecomposable when no subspace of it can be isomorphic to the direct sum of two infinite dimensional Banach spaces. The Gower's dichotomy theorem asserts that every infinite dimensional Banach space X contains either a subspace Y with unconditional basis or a hereditarily indecomposable subspace Z, and in particular, Z is not isomorphic to its closed hyperplanes. If X is homogeneous, it must therefore have an unconditional basis. It follows then from the partial solution obtained by Komarovsky and Tomchak Jägerman, for spaces with an unconditional basis, that X is isomorphic to 2. <laughs> <laughs> Metric classification If T X Y Display style t x to y is an isometry from the Banach space x. Display style x onto the Banach space y. Display style y. Then the Mazur-Ulam theorem states that t display style t must be an affine transformation. In particular, if T zero X equals zero Y display style T zero underscore X equals zero underscore Y. This is T display style T maps the zero of X display style x to the zero of y display style y then t display style t must be linear this result implies that the metric in banach spaces and more generally in normed spaces completely captures their linear structure Topic: Topological classification. Finite-dimensional Banach spaces are homeomorphic as topological spaces if and only if they have the same dimension as real vector spaces. Anderson-Kadek theorem (1965–66) proves that any two infinite-dimensional separable Banach spaces are homeomorphic as topological spaces. Kadek's theorem was extended by Torunsik, who proved that any two Banach spaces are homeomorphic if and only if they have the same density character, the minimum cardinality of a dense subset. Topic spaces of continuous functions When two compact Hausdorff spaces K1 and K2 are homeomorphic, the Banach spaces C K1 and C K2 are isometric. Conversely, when K1 is not homeomorphic to K2, the multiplicative Banach Mazur distance between C K1 and C K2 must be greater than or equal to 2. See above the results by Amir and Camburn. Although uncountable compact metric spaces can have different homeomorphy types, one has the following result due to Militon theorem. 
Let K be an uncountable compact metric space. Then C K is isomorphic to C 0, 1. The situation is different for countably infinite compact Hausdorff spaces. Every countably infinite compact K is homeomorphic to some closed interval of ordinal numbers 1, alpha equals gamma, 1 gamma alpha display style Langle 1, alpha wrangle equals gamma 1 leq gamma leq alpha equipped with the order topology, where alpha is a countably infinite ordinal. The Banach space C K is then isometric to C. When alpha, beta are two countably infinite ordinals, and assuming alpha beta, the spaces C and C are isomorphic if and only if beta. For example, the Banach spaces C one omega C one omega omega C one Omega Omega two C one Omega Omega three C one Omega 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 Display style C Langle one Omega Wrangle C Langle one Omega carrot Omega Wrangle C Langle one Omega carrot Omega carrot two Wrangle C Langle one Omega carrot Omega carrot three Wrangle C D O T S C Langle one Omega carrot Omega carrot Omega Wrangle C D O T S are mutually non isomorphic Topic examples A glossary of symbols, K equals R, C, X is a compact Hausdorff space, I is a closed and bounded interval A, B, P, Q are real numbers with one sigma as a sigma algebra of sets, she is an algebra of sets for spaces only requiring finite additivity, such as the Ba space, μ is a measure with variation, μ. Topic Derivatives Several concepts of a derivative may be defined on a Banach space. See the articles on the Frechet derivative and the Gâteaux derivative for details. The Frechet derivative allows for an extension of the concept of a directional derivative to Banach spaces. The Gâteau derivative allows for an extension of a directional derivative to locally convex topological vector spaces. Frechet differentiability is a stronger condition than Gâteau differentiability. The quasi-derivative is another generalization of directional derivative that implies a stronger condition than Gâteau differentiability, but a weaker condition than Frechet differentiability. Topic: Generalizations. Several important spaces in functional analysis, for instance, the space of all infinitely often differentiable functions R R, or the space of all distributions on R, are complete but are not normed vector spaces and hence not Banach spaces. In Frechet spaces one still has a complete metric, while LF spaces are complete uniform vector spaces arising as limits of Frechet spaces. See also Space mathematics Hilbert space LP space Semi-inner product Sobolev space Hardy space Interpolation space Distortion problem Smith space Notes <laughs> <laughs>